beginning on February 28th and lasting until April 19th of 1993. The Waco siege would represent an all-too-frightening example of political and religious extremism. Situated on the Branch Davidian Ranch at Mount Carmel, located northeast of Waco, Texas, the ATF failed to execute a search warrant on the compound leading to an intense two-hour gun battle and the eventual 50-day siege of the compound itself. On April 19th, a second assault was carried out by ATF agents, Texas National Guardsmen, and FBI agents that would result in a catastrophic fire eruption and eventually bring down the compound. The total estimates of casualties was 82 Branch Davidians dead, including their esteemed leader David Koresh, and four ATF agents. Yet how could such a tragic and intense confrontation between both of these sides have taken place? The Branch Davidians are a Protestant sect born in the 1950s and based in Adventism's apocalyptism, or the thought that followers were living in the time of the end of the days and when Christ would come again to save the true believers. David Koresh, the leader of the Branch Davidians at the time, was the successor of Lois Roden, whom inherited the Mount Carmel complex from her husband after the original Davidian founder, Victor Hotov, failed to prophesize the end of the day in the Second Judgment. Koresh, a fanatic and religious extremist by many standards, had taught his followers of the course of the leadership that the U.S. government was the enemy of all Davidians and that they would have to defend themselves against its weapons. Further, taking their religious beliefs to extreme levels, many of Koresh's followers believed him to be a sinful messiah, as his immense knowledge of the Bible was only surpassed by his morally unethical, alleged, abuse of children, the taking of underage brides, sometimes 12 or 13 years old, and polygamy. Continually, Koresh and his followers were believed to have been stockpiling legal weapons and then modifying them into illegal firearms, in preparation for Judgment Day, of course, which was the basis for the ATF's raids on the compound. Overall, the extreme religious and political views of the Branch Davidians, headed by Koresh, would lead to many of their eventual deaths, as guarding their livelihood, the Davidians would challenge and engage U.S. agents in a deadly gun battle that would forever shock the American public. <laughs>